The 1920s was the first decade of female emancipation, and women were not slow in making their mark on the gangster scene. The gangsters had their families, but they also had their girlfriends, also called a mall. Many women must have found the wealth and power of the mobster attractive, but danger was another allure, which gangsters knew and knew how to use. Scarface did more than any other film to define the classic mall. Well, you're looking swell. I thought we were going to see something of you. Well, here I am. Where have you been? On Poppy is the boss's girlfriend, but when the dapper Tony Camonte makes a move on her, devotion and constancy are the last things on her mind. Don't work too hard. I just finish up tonight. Now I play a while. You got your own table, Connie. What's that? This is a table for two. Well, maybe you'll get another table, eh, Johnny? Hey, listen, you. What do you think you're... In reality, though, some malls and mobsters were capable of normal relationships. These are the eyes of an infamous mob man, Capone trigger man, machine gun Jack McGurn, who was often seen in the company of Louise Rolfe. McGurn married Rolf on the advice of a friendly newspaper man. The reason, a wife can't testify against her husband. And the man who snapped the wedding pictures was press photographer Tony Baratti. Oh, they were just a couple of lovebirds. They were great. I don't think she would have uh, married or not. I don't think she would have testified. She was a pretty tough gal. In fact, Rolf did appear in court but only to swear that Jack was with her at a particular time. If lawyers and judges were fooled, the newspapers were not. They called Rolf the blonde alibi. But their love was not destined to last. In the early 1930s, Rolf and McGurn parted on bad terms. She returned to her career as a nightclub singer. Hollywood made much of the doomed relationship between the gangster and Maul. rat he's born, a rat he lives, a rat he dies. James Cagney. In The Public Enemy, notorious gangster Tom Powers, played by James Cagney, is in love with a society woman, and he knows he's out of his depth. Yes or no? And I can never figure you out. Now can you? But the women were not always so classy. Even in the silent era of the 1920s, Movies showed that women could be every bit as tough as their bad guys. Here in Outside the Law, actress Priscilla Dean plays Silky Maul. Molly helps her partner trap a cop and a rival gangster. Molly is no shrinking violet. She's shrewd and she's tough. There's no question she'll shoot if she has to. And for some, characters like Silky Maul reflected the changing role of women in society at large. The interesting metamorphosis of the gangster film has also been the inclusion or growth or evolution of women in the films. They went from being the hostesses, the girlfriends, to being actual players, to actually being gangsters themselves. Indeed, women ran speakeasies and gave orders. Take Texas Guinan. She was a nightclub owner who famously greeted her customers with the words, Hello, suckers. Guinan remained a power to be reckoned with throughout the bootleg years. The malls of the speakeasy should not be overlooked in any history of how gangsters changed America. 
But for malls and their mob boyfriends alike, the bootleg years were about to come to a sudden end.